to Boston, um, you're going to rely on that person, and that person's going to become your whole world, and then you're not going to realize that there's this whole other world out there. So I just say avoid serious relationships. Doesn't mean you can't date. You can still go out. You can still hang out, but just avoid serious relationships that first year because there's so much growing. There's so much adapting that first year that it just is really hard if you do that. Network. Get a LinkedIn account if you can. Network, network, network. And know that you're not alone. Michelle Obama said, do not be afraid to ask for help. Nobody gets through college on their own. Nobody. She didn't say some people. She said nobody. Okay. Sorry, Brian. Okay, the real world is getting really close. Does anybody know what NSF is? This is what you're going to, the bank's going to tell you. They're going to call you and tell you your check. Non-sufficient funds. This is the first time I learned this was in college. Because guess what? I didn't realize I can't write a check because there's no more money in the bank. What's going on? I had a job too, right? I was like tutoring and making little bits of money. But for the first time in college, your parents are probably going to give you a checkbook or a credit card or something, right? You guys got to learn like how to sort of budget and realize that there's like a timing difference between when you deposit the money and when you like actually write a check and it goes out of your account. So try your best not to get a non-sufficient fund because it costs money and it sucks. Get online accounts and get unique passwords. So um, I don't know if you guys already do this, but with your passwords, if you can, this is something I saw, it's like a hack. So you could have, um, for instance, Elvin's going to Boston. E-I-G-T-B, that's your password. So it's like a sentence, but it's basically hard to figure out, right? So you just come up with different sentences and then add on different numbers depending on the account. So maybe for LinkedIn, you add a link to link, Elvin is going to Boston, E-I-G-T-B, right? And then you have to say it. And then you can add a number or a birthday or something. Basically something to make all of your accounts unique, but not so unique that you can't remember. And there's also different apps now that you can use to have different, like, right? Different, what's, what did you say, what was that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you can use stuff like that. I don't trust it personally because I'm super paranoid, so that's why I come up with my own super long passwords. But then I sort of change it for every different account that I have. So I might put city in front of my city account or Wells in front of my Wells account. But it's going to be a lot harder for somebody to hack into it because if they hack into one account, they don't know all the other accounts, right? Because it's all different. So just something to think about as you guys are creating all these different accounts that you're going to get when you get to college. Monitor your credit card and bank accounts. Set up online um, access so that you can get in and look at it. Set up online payments if you can. Just know your stuff. Like your parents aren't going to be there to give you money anymore. They might give you money over you know, the phone or through credit cards and stuff like that. But this is the first time in your life that you guys are going to have to start to budget, to save. So um, your student ID, keep it. Even after you graduate, keep it. You can use it for so long unless you start to age, right? You can use it for so many discounts. And you'll figure out there's so many discounts all over um, wherever you live, wherever you go to college. When you bring it back for the holidays, you can use it for different discounts. So I, I still have my student ID, but I don't use it anymore. <laughs> Budget. So I want you guys to know how much you're spending. I mean, that seems like, well, my parents are paying for college, and I have a meal plan. Why do I have to know what I'm spending? It's just a really important quality to start to have as you're preparing for post-college. So college is the time to sort of start preparing and you know figure out, I mean, you don't have a lot of expenses in college, but you know maybe don't go out and buy new shoes every week because mom gave you a credit card. So just kind of know and then think. Think before you act. Think before you do something. Just important stuff like that. Okay, um, plan. Your future's coming. So you guys are in high school now. College might seem far away, closer for some. After college, then what? Like I gotta get a job or I gotta make money. Do I wanna live at home? Living at home might be good for a few years, but do you wanna be the 30 year old living at home? I don't know, maybe you do. It's just, it's totally up to you, right? To each their own. So start to plan for your future, figure out what you wanna do. Okay, plan and prioritize. So get a calendar. Do you guys have calendars? On your phone, physical one, whatever. Schedule time for better, best of good. What's better, best of good? Some activities are better, some are best, and some are good. So it kind of goes better, best, and good, right? Studying, good. Studying every day for a certain lot of time, better. Making like a set time to study, the best, right? Or, you know, or not studying could be the, the good. You get the point. Okay, limit your online idle time. How many of you guys go on YouTube every day? Okay, how many of you guys have Snapchat? Okay, how many of you guys have Facebook? So, how many of you guys have Instagram? How many of you guys post every day to Instagram? Not every day. How many of you guys post stories on Instagram? 
Okay, how many of you guys have more than a thousand followers on Instagram? <laughs> so, we're parents, your kids are wasting a lot of time doing this stuff. I know, I'm wasting time doing that stuff, right? And so, you gotta limit that online idle time. And I've heard about different apps from some of you guys when I interview with you guys about how you can set up an app so that your phone is not accessible for like an hour when you're doing something. You know, your computer is the same way. So just think about that and realize that YouTube is so fun. It's a big rabbit hole that you can just fall down sometimes. I will look up celebrities that I haven't seen in 10 years because I don't read gossip magazines anymore. And I'm like, wow, they have kids? Wow. And then all of a sudden it's 1 a.m. and I'm still looking at photos of celebrities on Instagram. So you really just have to think about this and sort of monitor it to the best of your ability. Engage with others. So get off of your phones and go out there and make friends, right? I really, um, I've heard about a lot of teens where we live who they all get together to party and they just sit there on their phones. And they take a photo of themselves, oh, having so much fun! And then they're just sitting there on their phones. So it's just a different generation now, but I want you guys to go out and have fun. Go to the parties, right? Don't be on your phones. Put your phones away for a little bit. Don't take photos when you're at the parties. Just like try it one time, right? Because that's a, let's take a selfie, we're out. Let's like, you know, whatever. No, just avoid it. Just go out and be a human. Okay, explore. Wherever you go for college, there's a town nearby, um, just go and explore it. I mean, how many of you guys have really explored LA? How many of you guys have like hiked the different hikes up in Monrovia? Oh, a couple, that's good. So explore where you live and explore where you're going. I think that's a really important thing. Um, this, okay, so when you guys leave, I have this little email sheet. If you guys want this information or the slide deck that I went through today, put your name and email and I will email it to you guys. But I've got all these tools here that I think are amazing and I want you guys to get on board with. So skim is like an online thing where well, they'll send you like a synopsis of all the news events and entertainment news, everything, right? Anything that's big will be in that email, Monday through Friday. So they're off on the weekends, but it's great because if you don't have time to read the news or see what's going on, you can go on Skip. Um, home pages of news websites is another thing. Okay, if you're organizing events, which you probably will when you get into college, um, these are my favorite online websites. Paperless Post, you can send an invitation. Evite, Canva Design, if any of you guys use Canva Design, awesome. This is my favorite for presentations. Um, freeconferencecall.com, so if you're in a group setting and you wanna have a conference call and you guys are all busy, you can't get together, this is a great way to do a free conference call with everybody. Um, Survey Monkey, Google Forms, Doodle, basically to get surveys. Um, Google Forms, you can have different people submit information, and then Doodle is a way of surveying people as well. So these are apps that you can download that will help you focus more, right? Luminosity, does anybody have any of these? Luminosity, GPS Productivity, Pomodoro, Focus Booster, Headspace. Yeah, me neither, I've never even heard of them. But I Googled it for you guys because I thought it was important. It's like, my generation, we did Sudoku. Sudoku, when we wanted to sort of get our minds going, right? It's important, if you guys are gonna be on your phone, use it for something important, right? Do something productive with it. Okay, team projects. You guys are all gonna have team projects when you get to college. Google Drive, obviously you guys are probably already using this. Does anybody know about Google Scholar? Oh, awesome, what do you guys use it for? Oh, but you know about it. Okay, that's one. Do you, do you use it for anything? Yeah, for a research paper. Did you, I didn't even know Google Scholar existed. I saw it in a YouTube tutorial. I'm just saying, it's not always bad. Internet's not always bad, you gotta use it for good things. PowerPoint templates, did you know you could just Google PowerPoint templates and get all these other PowerPoint templates so it doesn't look like the original ones that are in PowerPoint, right? And you can change the background if you want to, you can put your own image, whatever. There's so many, you can use Canva Design to do a neat one. So, um, Prezi, has anyone ever used Prezi? Oh, awesome. It's, it's hard though, right? That's what I've been told. But it's kind of like an interactive PowerPoint presentation using Prezi, but it's more <coughs> elaborate, but it takes a little bit more time. Oh, and then we're gonna watch a video. <coughs> So, the last thing is, um, and some of you guys may have seen this if you came to my thing. This is just, um, be a good team player. I think that's, it's obviously important for you to develop as a person, but... Oh, hold on. Where'd it go?
there. My message there was not to take the bus. My message was just to be a good team player. That's part of college. When you get there, you're going to be doing tons of team projects. If you're not already doing them in high school. And it's just a good way to be part of the team, right? You can do so much more with the team than you can do with one person. So those are my tips and tools. Those are sort of my advice pieces for you guys um, on how to sort of rock it in high school and hopefully in college too. So I hope that was helpful. Do you guys have any questions for me?